I don't know why. It's giving Fabio in this deck. You just chill over there and rest your pretty little cup. Okay, we're going to move on to the next energy. Clear it, please. Airy, sun, moon, rising. Hmm. Ten of Cups. Okay. It's giving... I'm, he I'm hearing happily ever after, right? Because that's the happily ever after card. What is Ten of Cups? Ace of Swords. Happy to be gaining clarity here. You got the star and the knight of cups. This is some nice energy. Let's, let's stay positive about it, right? Okay, you got the ten of cups. You're getting clarity now. About some sort of healing or that a situation is healing or something is being creatively improved. Okay, Aries. Messages for Aries. What is the Ten of Cups? Aries, the Ten of Cups is sacred convergence. So you're protected or you're happy because you know you're protected, okay? The Ten of Cups and Angel Tarot, that's a guardian angel. That's actually one of the Divine Nine. I don't remember his name. Let's see. Let me whip him out real quick. Yes, that angel's always around in my house. Because he is one of the nine that are on my secret service detail. Hmm. <laughs> God's secret service, period. That tells no lies on this channel. Everybody's born with three. Especially if you're a divine being, sometimes four. Five if you count Archangel Michael. Then you multiply that by two star seed children. That means there's nine of them standing on guard minimum at all times around me and mine. All right. Mm. Somebody could have possibly seen an angel chilling around your house. They were shook about that. What was I think? Oh, what is his name? Hahael. Mm-hmm. Divine warrior confounds the wicked, brings victory and peace. You know, my kid, he was telling me, Mommy, I'm a warrior. And I'm like, what are you talking about? You see, what people don't understand is when you're channeling the divine, you could also be channeling angels. Not all angels are demons, people. They just want you to believe that. Okay? So, we're going to pop you up here. Aha, uh -huh, yo, because I feel like your energy is significant in this read. Sacred Convergence, the Ten of Cups angel, could be protecting you. Or showing you compassion, you and your children at this time. This particular angel is one of the 72 of the Kabbalah. Okay. And. Let's see what message he has for us. Do you have any divine insight for us for this particular message? Hi, hi, yo. Hmm. 
Ahail says, don't lower your vibration. That's what they want. You're getting clarity of this now. You're healing to create. Hmm. This guardian angel is allowing your fortified sacred convergence to be protected around you and your children. Mm -hmm. Prayer changes things. The chains are broken, which is allowing you to be in this star Knight of Cups energy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ahayel. Deeply connected with nature. Mm. It's important to have nature around you, even if it's a little at all times. What is the Knight of Cups? Musician. So you may be Ohio may be bringing over a sense of peace, happiness, balance, confounding the wicked energies that are trying to disrupt your balance to assist you in achieving victory and peace, possibly to create or continue to work on something. Mm. Court of Fives. Okay. Mm. Now, that's inside, right? But I made a card about it. It's a book that I read um, over the holiday. Okay, the storyline is about this girl, right? And it talks about the balance, her journey on balancing between acting like an upper-class patron and the freedom of a commoner, okay? She was able to experience this only when she was away from her family was she able to be who she truly was called to be, okay? So it's giving like a... It's giving Princess Jasmine a little bit, right? Because in the Aladdin story, she was a princess, but she so much desire to you know, seek adventure, you know, in the common area of town, which where she found Abu and Aladdin and went on her little adventure, right? So that isn't necessarily how the story went, but it's very reminiscent of that storyline in a way that this is someone that is breaking free from societal norms or what is projected to pursue something that makes them feel alive. Mm -hmm. Yep. Something to do with being connected to nature is also important. Whoever these people are, they spiritually get demoted every time they come for you. That's probably why one of the Divine Nine are here. Protecting your happiness. Mm-hmm. Protecting you from these people trying to block you. Their manifestations are actually blocked because they keep messing with you. You know what's so funny? Your guardian angel actually loved every minute of them trying to attempt to harm you because um somebody coming that backfire is something serious mm -hmm. they underestimated you and now they paying for it 